As you can see, the key just to the right of Prince Leaf's timer showing the victory for game one here. So in this case, it is three keys to victory. Just getting a uh, Prince Leaf ready to go here for game number two. And there we go. There is the reset of the clock. So, so much for that 625 head start that I was joking about. Although with that much time, even I could stand a chance in this. Very well might. 625, that'd be one heck of a head start in the Eliminator uh, for America Gladiators, too. Yep. <laughs> Game you number exactly two. where you were going with that. <laughs> All right, so Coolio got a new PB of 827 unofficially. Of course, once he does submit the run, we will give it an official time. I believe it was an 827, but here we go. There is a Razor Shield for Coolio. Going to go ahead and pick that up. Prince Leaf, of course, going to ignore the grenades. Arguably the worst drop in the game. You don't want to be sabotaged by it because the range of that weapon is very limited, and chances are it usually misses more than it hits. I'll tell you what, that was a much better opening room there for Coolio. Still going to be a little behind. It's a 42. Coolio going to get a 45. So definitely an improvement from game number one. Maybe getting those game number one jitters out of the way, Bergs. Or perhaps riding the confidence of the PB from the previous game. Or Absolutely. a little bit of both. All right, sees the grenades, wants to buy a better drop than that. There's a nuke on the floor. Going to go ahead and pick that up. And yeah, this time, Coolio picking up the drops here in um, Collect Power. So there's a foot. He, he may ignore that because it is kind of out of the way. Wants to keep control of the middle to best his chance of having good firing lanes. But here's some vitamin R for Prince Leaf here, but still no orb. So you don't really like to see that if you're... But speaking of which, all I had to do was talk about a burgundy and immediately Prince Leaf gets the orb to close the room 129. A little commentator's creation there as opposed to a curse and makes the orb appear and oh wow. Razor shield as well. Don't really need the razor shield, but it's definitely good insurance policy in case, you know, you get overrun by those foot soldiers. A 148 going into Eat My Shrapnel. So again, definitely an improvement there from Coolio, but problem is he is lacking that orb and oh, gets run over by the swirl. All right, so we've got just now the rest of the Mr. Shrapnels to take care of on Prince Leaf's side. But right now the game just not giving Coolio any breaks here. As we like to say, RNG favors the favorites. And as you like to say, Bergs, RNG underwhelms the underdogs. And right now that just seems to be the case. Finally get some vitamin R though. Wait till the last moment to get to it and wisely just not holding the button down, just being very selective and kind of just using one rocket apiece for the Mr. Shrapnels. And it looks like in this case, it's the foot soldiers that are left behind. And it's a 240. Again, a, definitely an improvement on Coolio's side getting into that door. I'm going to have to take this call, uh, Burgundy. Uh, so you lead the way. I'll be right back. Don't worry. IRL doing IRL things. And there's now a spreader for Coolio, Prince Leaf, utilizing the last little bit of that razor shield and is going to be into the bonus room at about a 307. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, was able to avoid the one foot soldier, but not the other. And now into tank trouble at about a 331. Razor shield to start off with. You could certainly do worse than that. Gives a little bit of protection for Prince Leaf to take care of those gunners on the wall. Coolio, meanwhile. Man, this room feels like it's never ending. 
And there's the, uh, there's the swirls. I thought that was going to be it there as well, but it seems like the game decides to give you at least another 100 foot soldiers for not making it out of that room under that 62 second mark. It's going to be about a 407 into the bonus room for Coolio. And Prince Leaf with a smoking time heading into Mutoid Man. Has a little over a room lead here. Oh, but gets, oh, gets sniped by the laser. Julio loses the orb, loses his life. He's trying to focus on at least one of those wall gunners. Now trying to get back to the middle here, but gets taken out by a tank. Meanwhile, both arms now popped off here for Prince Leaf. Working on the lobbers, grabs an invulnerability for some safety. And the next drop is some grenades. It's at least a weapon that can work on Mutoid Man. Yeah, you can't have just your regular key shooter, for lack of a better term, do damage to Mutoid Man. You need some sort of a powered up weapon, whether it's the grenades, whether it's the rockets, whether it's the lobbers or the spreaders, uh, probably in order of preference, I would say. Oh, no question about it here, and I have returned here as it looks like Coolio has just finished off the room. Still has another chance at a PB at a 548, but here's Prince Leaf at the final form with lobbers at hand, so and down it goes. And I'll tell you what, not, not a bad Mutoid Man fight. It's going to check out at about a minute and 45 seconds. Yeah, doing pretty well there. It's going to be uh, pretty good, rather. It's a 607 finish time. I saw that he did get in there at 4.20, so you have a minute 47 seconds, not too shabby. So Prince Leaf going to take game number two here, and unfortunately, Mutoy Man giving Coolio just awful drops. There's a key, now some rockets. That'll help take out the gunners up front. You do see that Coolio is playing on the Japanese cartridge. Difference between the U.S. cartridge and the Japanese cartridge is that for the Mutoid Man fight, is just going to keep firing its lasers repeatedly, but they fire more sporadically in the Japanese version. They always tend to make it just a little bit more difficult here in the U.S., it feels like. Especially in the early 90s, Burgundy. I mean, another game that comes into mind is Castlevania 3 and gets run over again. There's a spreader on the feet. There's another spreader. He's going to go for it. Did he, did he do it too late, though? Go, go, go. Yes, he got, got it. it. Going to take care of that little bit of a nip. And there's another spreader. Can he get over to it? If he's not blocked, he can get to it. But he's going to have to use a credit first. Another PV is on the table if he can get this. Yes. Does. Oh, this is going to be a lot of transfer oh, damage yes. coming up here kind of backed away at the end there so he's not going to get as much transfer damage as he could have but he is going to get a lobber which could be enough to finish off mutoid man here if he does not miss his shots here and this could be another pb here and a big one at that he gets yes, it, it is. oh baby it's not going to quite be a sub eight burgundy but it is going to be a rather healthy pb for coolio an 803 he just wow. cut his PB by 24 seconds there, Bergs. So not bad for, for a couple of races here, going for a PB of 829, besting that by two seconds, and then besting that second one by another 24. I'm telling you, I can feel it. He's going to get that sub-8 